Maybe uh, it sounds even better than the, uh, the original. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my friends. Today, I will take David Guetta's famous song, She Wolf, and I will turn it into a more modern and energetic EDM banger. I will show you all the steps so that you guys learn how you can make a remix yourself. Let's get right into it and let me know if you prefer my remix or the original. All right, guys. So first, I'll grab a Silent One pad and I'll write some chords to the vocals. Let's pick a cool preset. I really like this one right here. I'm adding a low pass filter through it just to make it a bit more relaxed. Let me get some bass notes in here. I'll start adding some harmonies. more notes. I really like where this is going. Amazing. Super happy with this. Let's add some OTT. Just fatten them really up and then I'm gonna add this Origin Vintage plug-in just to get this, yeah, vintage, old school, warm, nice sound. A shot in the dark, a past lost in space. Where do I start? The past and the chain. Yeah, this is sounding so good already. Let me add some ambience here to the background. I really like this one. Just do a little bit of EQing to clean it up a bit. Are perfect. Then I'll add a second one, just to get some more rhythm going. And here I'll I, I'll turn down the highs a bit, like that. All right. Then I want to add some shakers just to you know build up the groove. Uh, I think I'll try this one. Yeah, this one sounds better. And then, the next eight bars, what I'll do is, I'll chop up the chords just to add more rhythm, and to build up the energy. And then, I'll add a break bass as well, this one here. It's very clean. Okay, and then we need some some crash sounds, some some transition sounds. You love, you love me, you love me. Let's see what else we got. Uh, but let me add a clap as well. One of these. Yeah, really nice. And then then another transition sound. You know, these are really important to get the transitions right. Some ear candy. And then, we want a bass impact as well. Okay guys, now let me write the drop melody. I'm basically using a, a Sineth 1 plug for this. Let's check this out with the chords. Mm, just one note here that I don't like. Yeah, that's much better in my opinion. Okay, let's do some lead layering. Um, let's see what we got here. I think this one's cool. Let me play around with the octave here. Yeah, I like this one. Let me do a third one. <sighs> mm. 
Let's check another one. Yeah, this one really quiet in the background, just nice. And then the final one, I think I'm gonna add this one. Also super quiet, just adding a bit more body here. All right, let's do some processing. I'll start with an EQ, a low and high cut. And then some OTT. Let's do some reverb, and then I will sidechain it using the peak controller. Simply right click on the wet one, and then choose the peak controller peak, set it to inverted. Nice. And then some side chaining, Nikki Romero's, oh, Nikki use kickstart. Yeah, that sounded pretty good to me. Okay, I'm gonna add this filter automation to open up the chords in the drop. And, and then I'll also add, um, add some mid bass layers. Yeah, I think these two sound really strong. Let's do some processing here as well. I will uh, cut away the highs a bit and then also the low cut to make room for the sub. And then I'll add some distortion just to make them really beefy. And then some more EQing to clean them up a little. Okay, and then some side chain. All right, now we need some build up elements, some snares, something like this here, you know, to get that energy going in the build up. Some uplifters as well, something like that. Another one, I'll throw some Enti Smile on it, and then we need some drums for the drop. I'll use this one as a bass kick and then I'll have a separate top kick. And on the bass kick, I will get rid of some of the, the, the highs here. And so both together, they sound like that. Nice. So then we also, we need some uh, claps. Just add some side chain here, and then some more crashes. Downlifters. And then I also want some more uh, shakers on the second half, just to keep the groove up. Add some more sounds, some, some claps, you know, just to keep it interesting. Then a fill as well. Okay, I went back to the break. Let me add some strings here because I feel like the breaks were still a bit empty. So I'll add these strings here. Just throw some OTT to make them big. Clean them up a little to make them sit nice in the mix and, and then also a low cut. Guys, before I show you the result, I really need to recommend to you my ultimate emotional progressive house bundle. This bundle is the outcome of five years of hard work. It contains over 7,000 samples, presets, midis, just everything you need to produce music like Dub Vision, Afrojack, or Nicky Romero. The bundle also contains a one hour masterclass by my good friend Severman. Now my boys, let's check out the remix together. Enjoy. A shot in the dark, a pop. 